is it? It's a small camera bag, what's known in the industry as a jumper. What does it do? It's for carrying camera gear. Who's it for? It's for vloggers, day trippers, coffee shop content creators, minimalists. All can have a cool, stylish bag that holds a lot of stuff but doesn't get crazy unwieldy. Give me the deets. Brevity did send the bag to me, but they're not paying me for this video, except for the bag, of course, and they don't get to see it early. I did sign up for their affiliate program, so if you are interested in this or any other bags from Brevity, if you use my affiliate code, I'll get some kind of commission and you won't pay any extra. There are two sizes and they're very close in overall dimensions and capacity. The small one has a total volume of 18 liters and the large one has a total volume of 22 liters. It's made out of 600D polyester. It's very soft, so that's good. They say it can fit a 16-inch MacBook. I don't have one anymore, so I'm going to be stuffing in this uh, large iPad Pro. It has a passport pocket, a luggage pass-through, a hidden pocket. It's weather resistant. I think on the website it, it says it can stand up to a light rain, but anything heavier than that, you're definitely going to want to take shelter before things get soaked inside. It's machine washable, they offer a lifetime warranty, and it's animal free, so don't put your cat in here. You like going into places. It uses recycled material and blue sign fabrics, and they're committed to donating $500,000 in camera bags to students in need. I mentioned all that stuff. If it's important to you, then we can be friends. There are 11 different colors that you can choose from, but availability is limited, so you may have to wait depending on the color that, you're, that you choose. What can you put in here? I'm glad you asked. This is the perfect bag for solo content creators. If you just wanna go out and do a quick shoot, if you're going on a hike, or even a day trip or a weekend trip. You can pack enough stuff that you're gonna have choices, but you're not gonna be overwhelmed and you're not gonna be overburdened by the weight of everything. Let's pack it up. Now that we know about the bag, let's pack it up and see how everything fits. So I'm gonna take this iPad Pro and put it in the laptop compartment because I am going to hop on my bike and go to the coffee shop. Not really, but the main compartment for your camera and most of your gear is here and you have access to it as well on the side right there this is the sony fx30 this is an aps-c sensor camera but it really is the same size as a full frame camera it's the same body as the sony fx3 uh, the lens i have on here is the 10 to 20 f4 power zoom uh, it's a small lens but you could really fit a much bigger lens on here there's plenty of room for that and i do have a cage this is the condor blue cage and I only have half of it on currently, but that'll fit right here. Lenses, I'm gonna grab the Sigma 50 millimeter F1.4 DGDN. And incidentally, this is about as tall a lens as you can fit if you wanna stand it up. And this lens with the caps on is exactly five inches tall. And if I put it in here, you can see how it just barely fits underneath the zipper edge. However, you can fit up to a 70 to 200 if you lay it down here in the back. And I'm going to grab the Sony 20 millimeter f1.8, another full frame lens. I like these lenses with the FX30. I'm going to grab the DJI Mini 3 Pro, tiny drone, plenty of room, but perfect for this small bag. And I still have a little compartment up here in the corner. And I have this old Sony microphone that slots into the accessory shoe, just like their newer ones. This one has been out for years. I don't know if they even still make this. I'm sure they do. For microphones, if you are a vlogger and you wanna have a microphone on your camera ready to go, you don't have room for that in this bag. Uh, it's, it's too tall. Um, so if you wanna have a, a camera that's ready to go with a microphone, you can do that, but you'll have to put it in the top and obviously you're gonna lose that quick access to the camera if that's important to you. If you have something like a, like what is it, the Sony ZV-1 or something, the kind of um, point and shoot, any camera like that will probably fit in here with a microphone, so you could use something like that. So we'll put that in there and that should be good for the main compartment. Now in this top section, this is just walled off with a little floor that you can remove if you want to, but there's no other dividers in this top section, but it's really tall. So you can fit 
another camera in here if you want to. This is the a7S III and the 35mm f1.8 from Sony. And that can stand up there no problem. And as you can see, there's plenty of room to have a microphone attached to that camera. Two cameras is a little bit heavy, but you obviously can do it if you want. But I'm gonna grab the DJI RC, whatever the hell this is called, for the drone. And then I'm also gonna grab the Freewell K2 Variable ND filter kit. This is a really awesome uh, Variable ND filter kit, but it does come with this rather bulky case, uh, which is similar in size to a camera, but it's a lot less, um, it's not as heavy, obviously. So it's a little bit more doable. With all that in there, the bag is still standing upright, which is handy. Now in this front section, lay this back down. You'll notice that a lot of the compartments don't open up very wide. Uh, only like the main camera compartment folds over completely. Uh, so just something to note, I don't think that's a pro or a con, it's just a, it's just a thing. So I'm gonna grab my SD card holder. Uh, this is similar to a Pelican case, but it's just kind of an off-brand called Kiera Photo. I've had this for years, it works really well. This is pretty large, but it will slide in here, fit no problem. And these little dividers here, these little pouches are perfect for extra batteries. And a GoPro, I'm gonna take the GoPro Hero 10, slide that in there, got a couple extra GoPro batteries. And whatever, you know, accessories, mounting accessories you might need for the GoPro can go in here. And then I've got my one extra Mini 3 Pro drone battery. And it's a little bulgy, but not too bad. And somehow, still standing up. And lastly, you've got this side pouch. And this can hold bottles uh, if you want to take some water, coffee, whatever. But it can also hold tripods and other things. I have this little mini vlogging tripod. This is from Surui. Uh, it's pretty cool because uh, it has a remote in it and you can pair this via Bluetooth to multiple camera systems, Sony, Fuji, Canon, I believe. If it doesn't pair via Bluetooth, I think there's other ways you can pair it, uh, but it's cool. And even though it's uh, sort of open, I've carried this around for hours and hours and hours, taken the bag on and off my shoulders many times and it's never, I've never lost the tripod. So that's in there pretty securely. But obviously if you have a, a, a bigger sort of travel tripod, or maybe even a, a small gimbal, you could slide it in here and then cinch it down with this strap here. On the bottom of the bag too, there's a couple straps that you could dangle a tripod or a light stand or something from the bottom of the bag as well. Oh, that's a pretty good amount of stuff and it still stays relatively compact and it's not really bulgy or bulky. Too bad. So there you go. Let's wrap this up by talking about pros and cons, and let's start off with the cons. It's a bit small for me. I'm 6'2 and about 215 pounds. I guess where the, the size is a factor is in the placement of the straps. They're, it's kind of narrow, and I don't mean that the width of the strap is narrow, but just um, the, the distance between the two straps. So when I have it on, and it starts to sort of pinch in under my armpits and in under my shoulders a little bit. So just take that into consideration if you are a, a larger person. It may not stand on its own as you pack it full of gear. It tends to get a little bit front and top heavy. The laptop capacity is a bit strained, so it can technically hold up to a 16-inch MacBook. But even with this iPad Pro, with that plus a lot of camera gear, it does start to get a little bit bulky and a little bit less comfortable to wear. Lastly, getting the dividers into place can be a bit finicky. I feel like those little L-shaped dividers that you use to make the T-shape to fit a camera and a lens in, maybe those L-shaped dividers are a little bit long. It's not necessarily a big deal unless you're trying to use the side compartment to get access to your camera. You can sort of fight against those dividers to get it back in. And I would just say, you know, make sure that you have the, make sure the camera is in there securely before you let it go. You obviously don't want the camera to fall out before you zip it up. As for the pros, I like the way it looks. It's stylish. I think it's stylish. I don't really know much about style. My wife likes it, so I guess that's a, in its favor as well. It's got branding on it, you know, the Brevity logo, this little stag logo thing here, and then on the back. But everything is color matched, so it's not very obvious. I just think it looks nice. And I, again, I like the materials. It feels very soft. It holds a good amount of stuff. We don't have to go through all that. I've shown you everything that you can jam in this bag, but it's perfect for going on a day trip or a weekend trip. If you're going to take public transit or even fly, 
it's a perfect size to do any of that kind of stuff. And lastly, it just has a lot of smart, well thought out features, nothing crazy innovative, just sort of refinements on camera bag stuff that we've been seeing for years and years. Really all the stuff that you need to make it functional and work for you. I think that's everything. It's a nice bag, I like it, can recommend. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, I appreciate watching the video and maybe I'll see you in another one.